Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to install this Dardex remote starter for the Honda Pilot. It's getting cold here. It's probably going to snow tomorrow, so we're going to install this. Should be all plug and play. Uh, got the instructions here. This is the program box. Bunch of wires. Let me unbox this. All right, we got the harness for the ignition here. Or maybe this ignition then, whatever. But here's the box here too. All right, let's go install it. Here we are in the car. We're gonna have to turn the steering wheel. See that screw right here? One on both sides. The Phillips. Then you take that off and then you can pop this cover off. And then we'll have, I think, three down below here somewhere. One here. One here and somewhere else. Let's take that off. Alright, see my toes? <laughs> Alright, we're going to take this, this plug off right here. Uh, I believe you pull this clip here and then it'll pull out. And then... What is it? This plug right here. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's white. Now we're going to plug the harnesses to it. There we go. So this one, plug into here. We gotta pop this one out again. All right, you probably stop it. Okay, and then you need to grab this twenty pin from the green harness, and we're gonna. As it would say, press and hold the button while we're connecting it. While connecting, press and hold the button on the module. So there's a button right here. So we're going to press and hold that while we plug this into here. And I think the should turn red right here, I believe. All right. Uh, when it flashes red, release the button. And reset is complete. Now connect the two remaining connectors followed by the programming below. So now we can connect the big one and the blue one. So we have the blue one here. And then we have the big one. All right. Now it says turn the key to the on position and wait three seconds. On position, one, two, three. Turn the key to the start position to start the vehicle. Wait, LED one on the remote start module should go green. I 
know why it's not going green. All right, so you probably saw where I left off. I just kind of troubleshooted. It says, you know, wait, LED remote start should go green. We didn't see the green here the first time. So I just went ahead and just didn't follow the steps, turn the key into the off. Uh, I took the key out of the ignition and then pressed the OEM unlock, start the vehicle. Uh, press the breakdown, press the button, the programming button right here, and then I let go, and it was, I, I believe, turned red. And then I released the brake, and then it went green, took the key out, pressed it three times, and the car started. Sweet. Now, basically, we just got to zip tie everything back together, put it back. There you go. Easy. No keys. And there's no key right now. Doors are locked, so let me uh, test it out for you guys. So the door is unlocked now. Let me see. Open the door. Hey, it still stays on. Second position. And the car still stays on. All right. Shit, sweet. Everything is plug and play. Oh, didn't have the e brake. And the car's turned off and try it again one two three oh shit got remote start good job guys